back. This is uh, episode 11 of Whiskey and Cigars, or season 2, episode 1. We're going to keep it at episode 11, but when we have these in a playlist, we'll have season 1, season 2, and all that. Uh, it's been a month since we filmed. We took a month break. Uh, Recollected ourselves. Yeah, because we filmed... Tried our to July come up with some new ideas. Yeah. We filmed uh, July 4th was our last day. That was that was our big, long episode. Yeah, with, an hour long. With yeah. everyone in. Today's August 5th, but this won't be premiering until August 7th, so Friday, so two days from now. But uh, today we are smoking the Leaf by Oscar, the Connecticut, and he's smoking the same thing. We've never smoked these cigars before. And uh, we saw them. They, they were pretty pretty cheap. So were, we... These were the, the Connecticut <laughs> were the cheapest one out of the four that were there. One, one of them didn't even have any in it, so. Yeah. But I'm a Connecticut guy. Jimmy, where are you guys? I forget where you guys. I'm mostly Connecticut. Connecticut. Yeah. But we've never smoked these, so we're going to smoke these. Oh, and we're going old school, back to my roots, cowboy way. <laughs> Drinking some uh, Southern Comfort. In some coffee mugs. <laughs> so that's what we used to do back on the old ranch back in the day. But we're gonna light these cigars up and give you what we think of these. Yeah, <laughs> give you guys what you came here for. trouble over there, John. It's got wind here on the ranch. Very windy day. We had rain for the past couple days. Yeah. Gave my it corn. poured yesterday. Mm -hmm. You're in upstate New York. My backyard's flooded still. Really? Yeah. It's that bad. <laughs> I mean, my, my yard's always had drainage issues, so I'm not super surprised. Yeah. Our, uh, our sump pump, the pipe cracked. Yesterday, while it was pouring rain, so our basement was flooded. My dad had to go down there and vacuum all of the water out. <laughs> well, I crack open the Southern Comfort. Not a big fan of this stuff, but new whiskey. I like to keep a uh, new whiskey on in every episode. You know, yeah. so it lasts me a week. But. <laughs> like that wild turkey last time. Oh. <laughs> you drank the thing in like two days, dude. Yeah. Oh, this is bringing up some old memories high school. Yeah? Yeah. You're drinking Slither Comfort? No. I like a little bit more. <laughs> I feel like you're a Jack Daniels more than Slither Comfort. Whoa. I don't know if it's blocking me, but I'm wearing a Pendleton Wario whiskey shirt while drinking some Slither Comfort, but, you know, whiskey's whiskey to me. Back on the ranch, we used to drink Jack Daniels. Amen to that. This cigar is really smooth. That's what I like about it. You got the, the whiskey. I got my farmer mug. But uh, we didn't really know what topic we wanted to talk about today. So we're just gonna give you the heads up of what, what we've been doing for the past month. Our, uh, our original idea got got changed, so we we had to push that back a couple days. Yeah. Uh, we were going to do uh, gas station cigars. A review on them. Because why not? Why not? Me and Jimmy, um, we first started off smoking gas station cigars. Mostly, mostly more, more you than me, but yeah. Yeah, it took me a year. Then I, you know, I'm like, you know what? Let me spend the extra money and get an actual cigar. And not even like it's that much more either. Yeah. I don't know those... Those Swisher Sweets, 99 cent two packs. Yeah, but they're also they're also like this big and about yay thin. I just felt like I was the only guy going to the gas station to buy those Swisher Sweets, you know, 99 cents for two of them. I was absolutely not going to lose them for blocks. 
mean, a lot of, I mean, hey, it's cheap, cheap uh, rolling paper. So. Yeah. But, uh, you want to start off where you've been doing for the past month? Yeah, sure. So, I'm, I'm currently a college student, so I've kind of just been enjoying my summer break. Uh, normally, I would have been working a summer job, but that kind of got scrapped due to COVID. due to current events. Um, so I've kind of just been, you know, at home chilling, uh, uh, helping around with yard work. I mean, not nothing out of the ordinary as far as my my standard summer goes, for the most part. I'm trying not to die of heat. That, that, that's one thing I can't stand personally is I, I never I was never a big fan of the heat. My family isn't a huge fan of like hot weather. So what about you, John? We're working a lot. See the feed store didn't close during all this COVID stuff, so I've been working throughout this whole thing. I mean I'm I'm blessed that you know we didn't close down I'm on unemployment like some of my family members. Yeah, it gets it gets stressful when other people are just sitting at home, not working, or getting you know, a ton of money, and killing myself every day. You can't blame them for that. Even though I like to joke around with my brother all the time. New favorite catchphrase is "get a job." <laughs> yeah, that's just, He's shaking his head at you. It's not his fault though. But uh, yeah, I've been working pretty much work, work, work. Up and out here on the ranch and all that stuff. Flies. There's a lot of they like you know Southern Comfort is sweet, so that's why they're here. Plus you got that Coke in there. Did I pour you a little too little? Or you're good. All right. Now I haven't had Southern Comfort in a while, so man. It is sweet. Yeah. I forgot how sweet it was. I thought Pendleton whiskey was on the sweeter side. Yeah, I got a, the bottle I have at home is even older than that one. Well, this is a, there was a, this one at the store, and then there was the regular one. This is the 100 proof one. And, uh, I'm a man, so I get the 100 proof. I don't even remember what the man is. Uh, I don't remember either. Now, this was cheaper, actually, too. Because I think it was like, there's 25 bucks for a smaller bottle and a black plastic. Or I got this for 30 bucks. Get more whiskey. <laughs> oh, and there goes the fire. Uh, we'll tend to it later. But uh, that's what we're uh, we've been up to. I know you wanted to talk about what was the idea we had before we started rolling this camera. Uh, summer plans had COVID not. I don't. Know. Personally, I don't know. I work too much. I work from nine to five, Monday through Friday, so. I know, I, I know you were planning another camping trip with me and yeah. a couple other guys. That, that camping trip last year, man, that was good. We were right on the lake. We weren't there too long either. We had a nice couple of days. Yeah. Weather was nice. Um, I also wanted to play airsoft because me and Jimmy are big airsoft nerds. <laughs> I'm just a big nerd in general, John. Come on. I just like to shoot people. <laughs> legally. <laughs> but, uh... What else? Uh, we were ready to go kayaking. There was so much stuff. We could probably do it. It's just, all our schedules are just so weird. Our other buddy, Matt, you know, we're going to have him on the show. We actually found a cigar that he likes. You know, that uh, acid. I can never, it's like C-R-O something. So I smoked it on the episode when we were in our old high school. Yeah. That cigar. It's very our, sweet. Our high school memories. Yeah, we were going to drink some... It, he actually likes Jim Bean honey. It's a good one, I'm telling you. It's it, it's definitely one where if you're not a big hard liquor person, it's a good good drink, good recommendation, just because it's really sweet. Mm-hmm. It's not... You don't get the major, like, throat burn that you do from most hard liquors. It's easy to mix with stuff because it's so sweet. I like Dr. Jim. Never had that. 
Dr. Pepper with Jim Beam. Just regular Jim Beam. Really good. Uh, I am enjoying this cigar. I am too. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's going up there on that list. Yeah. yeah. I like the band too, how it's like kind of like a fabric instead of just a regular. Yeah, like it's a cotton. Yeah. Thin cotton material. But... Leaf by Oscar. Oscar, right? It's a good Oscar what? His full name, Oscar something. I I don't remember it on the box. Yeah. It was on the box. Uh, honestly, my summer plans, they they actually didn't change too much. Now that I well, think about game, it. Game, game, game. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> of what my mom's going through, most of our summer plans were kind of put on hold and canceled anyways. Even before the before the quarantine because my when mother did, when did you guys find out she found out winter she went she went into surgery I feel, I feel like it was like a couple weeks after we started this you you messaged me about it yeah it was it was a while ago and she went through surgery she got it removed the tumor removed but it had hit a lymph node Mm-hmm. So all of this is just precautionary measures, make sure it doesn't come back because there, there was about like a 60% chance that it comes back but in a different location because of the lymph node. Yeah. Um, so they just wanted to, they wanted to make sure they got it all, it didn't come back. So she, she, she went through chemo, she's starting radiation, <clears throat> I want to say this, this week or no, next week. She start going through her radiation treatments. Those are a bit different. They're not as they're not as long, but they're daily. But there aren't as many uh, side effects for it. So like with chemo, you get a you, you literally get a sheet like a full paper full of side effects that are possible. Whereas radiation, it just kind of makes you tired, yeah. makes you fatigued. Um, so. Honestly, most of most of the plans that we had were kind of were all up in the air. You know, normally we normally my family goes to Cedar Point every summer. Uh, excuse me for a weekend, but that that plan was scrapped even before. Or that plan was like up in the air even before the quarantine. And once the quarantine, you know, it was pretty easy, pretty easy option just to say, nah, we'll, we'll skip it this year. Yeah. So, but. Yeah. Well. Uh, most of the plans were just hanging out with buddies, you know, smoking cigars like we normally do. Yeah, that, that I mean... A lot more bonfires at this place, but... Yeah, yeah. Can't really do that with, you know, circumstances and all that. So we don't want to talk about that, you know, depressing stuff. You know what we could talk about? NFL season. Dude, I can't wait. I, I, I know I... Like, I'm a Bills bandwagoner, 100%. Oh, I love the Bills See, since I, I was a little kid. I, unlike you, I didn't get into football until, like, junior year of high school. For me... Aren't you glad you got into football, though? I am. I'm glad I never wanted to play it, to be honest. It's never really it's my sport. It's not politics, though. If, you know, if your dad's somebody, you got to play. True, true. I had to fight to play for mine. See, I, I played hockey where... Unless you're on big travel teams, there's no real politics involved. You play if you, you know. Fair enough. Yeah, you just m- most of most of the leagues aren't aren't really serious. You've got plenty of more on like the recreational side. Like you, you still got competition, but it's not like you can either go extreme where you're, you know, you're pushing to be like a junior junior hockey player. Um, you know, get a college scholarship where you got, you know, you got the whole bunch of people who don't really want to go that route, so you, but they still want to play, and yeah. I got lucky that I live in an area uh, near a city where there is a hockey team, because unless you're in, like, Canada or certain countries in uh, Europe, you, you, hockey isn't really that big of a sport yeah. unless you're near a city that has a hockey team. Well, we're, we're about... 30, 45 minutes out east of Buffalo, New York. So, most of the people out here... Sabres fans and Bills fans. Sabres and Bills fans. It's weird. The 
girls. When I was a campus security officer at the UB, yeah, I used to talk to them. And they were mostly, you know, from central New York. And I always asked them, that's the first thing. I'm like, all right, so what part of the three teams are you from? <laughs> you know, of the NFL team. And there's always a mix. They're like, Giants or Jets? I'm like, you know, that's kind of weird because you would think they would be Bills fans because... It depends on where you are. Like, if you're, like, all along, like, the Broadway line, like, from Buffalo to Rochester to Syracuse, almost all the people in that, like, in that section are all Bills fans. They're all Bills fans. But then you start moving south, and you start getting the weird mix of Jets and Giants fans. Well, which I don't get, though, because, you know, <laughs> they always call us dumb upstate New Yorkers. <laughs> yeah, we're York. the only... We're the only New York team that actually plays in New York. <laughs> I, you know, I was thinking about yesterday, the Thanksgiving Day game versus the Cowboys. But that pisses me off. Too. No, no one had us. No one had us winning. No one. No one. And then what did we do? We won. And everyone was like, "Oh, oh." Yeah, you know what pisses me off? It's like. They never give us credit because I, I remember I was watching. ES, I don't really watch ESPN and all that bull crap because they're all just idiots. And they they kept talking. Oh, the Bills are winning record because they haven't played anyone good yet. And then they were talking so much. They're like, "Oh, Dak Prescott and the Cowboys are going to destroy the Bills." And then we whip the Cowboys' ass. All right. And the next day they're talking about how the Cowboys aren't a good team. You can't <laughs> friggin' do that. Dude, and the Cowboys fans were all super mad. First, they were mad at the fact that they lost to the Bills, and then they were mad at like all the sports channels because the sports channels went from, oh yeah, the, the the Cowboys are a good team to just trashing them, and it's like there was one commentator that I, I like two technically, two guys, and they're like they're like the one I forget his name, you know, it's bygones. You know. He's like, you know, most of the people, because they play up in, you don't know, northeast in the, at 1 o'clock on a Sunday the Sunday day in the eighth game. Nobody knows these guys. These guys have been playing hard. They've been winning games, but nobody cares about them. I'm like, yeah, you guys never give us any credit. It pisses me off. It, it's funny. Um, Like, after that, I it popped up on, like, my, like, YouTube feed. And it's this one YouTuber who's a big uh, Cowboys fan. And it was, the, the whole video was his reaction <laughs> to that game. And it's hilarious because he's like, yo, the Bills haven't played anyone good. And then he, he gets all upset. Like, I think he films it after after the game. But, like, he films, like, his reactions, like, like as he's, like, as if he's watching it currently. <laughs> and it's hilarious because he's, like, his facial expressions and, like, how he vocalizes his opinions are absolutely hysterical because he's like, am I about to be upset on Thanksgiving? <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of people are going to be saying, well, you guys lost to the Texans, blew a 60-point lead. I love how they were making, after that game, a lot of Buffalo Bills fans were pissed after that game. First playoff game where we lost and we should have won. It's a lot of stupid, stupid mistakes. A couple of bad calls too. A lot of bad calls too. You know, like Tom Brady all over again. <laughs> but they were all the Houston Texans fans were all saying, "Oh, you guys blew a 16-point lead." And then the next week, Jimmy, they blew a what a 21-point lead against the Chiefs. Like yeah. in, in one quarter too, they came back in one quarter. They had a whole half of a game to come back. 16 points. All right. Yes, it's a big difference, but on any given Sunday. 16 points isn't that big. You also have to remember that we, we had a fairly young team, too. Yeah. Like, we, we had a couple couple of veterans, but for the most part, most of, the, most of our players are, you know, rookie or sophomore season. So, I mean, for, for what we accomplished, for the fact that nobody picked the Bills yeah, going to the playoffs like they normally do. I don't want to be cocky. Humble pride. But I, I mean, think we're going to... You, you got to have some amount of humble pride I don't if you're think, a Bills fan, though. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we're going to the Super Bowl this season. But we're going to make it to the playoffs and hopefully jump that hurdle. Because we haven't won a 
playoff game since 1999. I would say we, we had a 17 year since playoff Doug round. Flutie. So we probably had like a 19, 20 year playoff win drought. Yeah. So. They had the longest drought, but now the Browns took it over. Yeah, but that's to be expected, to be honest. The Browns, unfortunately, have not been good. In Baker Mayfield's a crappy quarterback. He was good in college, but I'm sorry. He can't transfer it over to NFL. He's too hot-headed. I'm sorry, my boss is a Browns fan. Mm. And I can't, I don't know. I can't stand, plus I'm a Texas, you know, you know, Texas uh, fan. Maybe it was Oklahoma Sooners, you know, we're kind of rivals. Uh, so that's why I also hate Baker Mayfield. Which which, uh, which Texas college? Texas Longhorns, baby. Okay. University of Texas. But, so that's why I hate him that way, but he is really, he's a hot-headed quarterback. And I'm sorry, I don't think he's going to be a franchise quarterback. I think he's going to be a, maybe a three-year and done. Not one and done like that. I mean, it depends, though. Because, like, if they actually get a team to play around him, they might be a force to be reckoned with. N- not, not to the point where, like, the Patriots were, because let's face it, the Patriots were the Patriots, right? Like... You know, you know what team that's been lucky? The fan base has been lucky for the past couple of decades. Green Bay. Green Bay has not changed in a very long time. I mean, there's some years they're not in the playoffs, and you know, there's. there's but they've back- always been consistently good. Yeah, there are the most spoiled team. Like, yes, the Patriots are spoiled. Their <laughs> fan base, but no, they had. They had now they have Aaron Rodgers, which I think is the most luckiest quarterback. If you ever see his fucking throws that he throws, you know, his, his passes, they are so lucky that they get those balls. But before that, they had Brett Favre, and I forget the quarterback before that that got him to the Super Bowls. They are the one, the most luckiest fan base, and I want to see them at the bottom of the ones, you know? And then you've got, uh, what is it, New Orleans? I like New Orleans. Saints. I mean, Drew Brees. Is, Come on, Drew Brees. You gotta, you gotta man up too. You know, Drew, Drew yeah. Brees is what? He's one of the top passing leaders, isn't he? Yeah. He, he I know he recently, like he la- tied last season. Peyton Manning's. Yeah, I would say last season he tied. And then I remember, and then you've got <laughs> Tampa Bay, which is gonna be an interesting season. They don't have a good defense, so I don't think they're gonna be that good. But I mean, it's no. But still going back weird. to the Drew Brees, I know we don't we don't try to make this a political show, but come on, man. If you want to stand for the national anthem, go ahead. If you want to take a knee, go ahead. But don't friggin' back down if you don't want to take a knee. That's what pissed me off. It's like, come on, son. But other than that, uh, how many minutes are we at there, camera boy? Thirty. Twenty-three. Did it too fast. I only got one eye. I saw the three first and then the two. No. So I was like, wait, what? And then he did it again. So, anyways. But, yeah, no, this this season's going to be weird because, like, you've got Tom Brady and Rob Gronkowski on Tampa. Oh, they're going to be. It, it's either going to go really well for Tampa and they're going to be happy with that investment or it's going to go really, really poorly. Well, here's the thing with me. Tom Brady, he's an old, not an old school quarterback, not like Peyton Manning in that, but... He's set in his ways. What, he's 44, 43? He's been in the league for a while. He's 43, 44, maybe a little bit younger, but he's in his 40s, all right? He's set in his ways. You know, he's definitely old. He's like, used to football. he's used to his wide receivers beat, like, going Funny to the routes. Ball. Yeah. <laughs> he's not used to, like, you know, changing the thing on, on the go. He, he, he definitely doesn't run it, though. I mean, we got a glimpse when we had Antonio. They had Antonio Brown on it. Antonio Brown, he's not the type of guy to go back. He wants the ball in front of him, which Peyton Manning like. Or Peyton Manning, Tom Brady like to throw behind the guy. So I think there's going to be a lot of, lot of like weird stats with that because he's not used to his wide receivers in that aspect. I mean, but we got to talk about the Patriots again. Though. They get Cam Newton. Yeah. Which. I don't know, Cam Newton's kind of dropped off the face of the earth after he, they lost that Super Bowl a couple years ago. I mean, love him or hate him, the guy's still a decent quarterback. Yeah. But well, they lost a lot of their defense. See, the thing is, 
Yes, they had a great offense, but their defense was monstrous. A lot of Patriots? that defense. Yeah, a lot of that defense. Those guys have retired now. They either retired or tra- got traded, right? Yeah. So uh, you can. I was a defense alignment back in high school. So, but see, I, offenses win games. Defenses win championships. It's all I'm saying. See, I I never played football, but like I, I'm short, but I got speed. That's about it. I, I definitely, was, definitely could never be a lineman. That's for sure. I was a trench. I was a trench boy. I was in the trench. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's Mud you. Eaters. That's not me. Mud. See, if I could catch, I would have been, you know, decent. In, You're too small to be. Yeah, that's the other issue is I'm too short. I, I Peyton's too short. That's why he didn't get the play right I, I would have been. Sorry, man, like, the, the only position I would have been is anything, anything with running. Like, if I can... You know, get the ball and I just I'd take off. You know, Joe could have been a great fullback, but like, ah, he just played one year and then he didn't want to play anymore. It's like you got to fight to play your position. They're not just gonna give it to you just like that, you know. I but mean, uh, that's with any sport, even even with small small town politics or not, you play any sport. Like I know for for hockey, I I know I I always had a fight for ice time, you know. Like, you gotta, you gotta be there. You gotta be ready and hungry to to go out and play your best. Yeah. Like, I never got that much ice time, but the ice time I did get, I I always try my best to score or kill a penalty or do whatever I needed to do. I played four hockey. I, honestly. For what it is, hockey is a is a fun sport. I, I always enjoyed it. Football, I I actually did enjoy playing, but I never played like in any sort of organized league. I like the only football I ever really played was like backyard. I don't football. see. Um, I was a trench boy, so I don't I don't like playing backyard football because I can't catch and there's no blocking. You know. Like, Trench warfare. Yeah, the, the, like if football. you're playing. So I didn't like back. I'll throw the pigskin around just to, you know, to each buddy. But other than that, I didn't really like backyard football. Because you're either playing, you plus know, I'm too fat. Plus you're you, you're usually playing like two hand touch, or you're playing flag football. So there's I'm no too real fat content. for that. Right? <laughs> you can't run. I, I remember one of the times in gym we were playing football. One of the one of the seniors at the time, I think, I was a junior actually full out tackle and I didn't even have the ball and I was like dude get off me and he was a football player too yeah, those guys are fucking deep. <laughs> but uh time mark I mean, so we'll just we, we went through that pretty quickly though. Yeah. I mean, we always do, to be honest. Yeah. But uh, next episode, we're gonna try to get uh, gas station cigars. Get try a buddy. Get the, yeah. Try to get our guest guest on. Sneak peek guest is uh, Alex Warch. Probably don't know him. It's not like we're popular, right? <laughs> Total of ten subscribers. And and it's not like he's doing anything online either. Yeah. So. Yeah. But other than dynamic meme, he was our biggest. Biggest guest star. <laughs> well, Dan, my brother Dan's a pretty really big guest star too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, give it to him. We got some guest stars coming up. We got uh, another buddy, Matt from McCoy. Matt McCoy, and then we got a buddy who's coming home. He's in the army. He's coming home the 15th. So we're gonna have him on an episode. Mm-hmm. We're talk. Yeah, definitely try to get him on. Talk about the military. I'm still trying to get into the Marine Corps. He's in the army. That that that's one bitch. that. <laughs> that that's one I'll let you two talk most. Yeah. Uh, I'll I'll add in my you know my own commentary every once in a while. But you, he hasn't you guys, been home for over maybe a year, a year and a half. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, because he was home. What? I want to say like spring of last year, something like that. Because it was winter. Was it winter? Yeah, it was still. It was like around February. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh. I remember, but it was warm that like that winter though. Like when yeah. he was home, it was warm because I remember the when I went to go visit him, he was outside vacuuming out his car. <laughs> well, because what it, car it, does he have now? It, it was the Jeep that he bought. 
Oh, no, that was around. And was that? That was like March because it was his birthday. Yeah, he was home March. Last year? Yeah, last yeah. year. Yeah, so he hasn't been all home woman over a year. That's what you get with the military, you know? Yeah. Well, no, that's what you get, but that's what you signed up for. But can't wait to see him home. We got some wild turkey long branch. Yeah. We, we still need to get some foot long cock up in here at some <laughs> point. <laughs> we'll get that when Mac gets on. Yeah. But, uh, He'd enjoy that. Now we're gonna finish up these cigars. Jimmy's almost done because he's a friggin' chain smoker. Finish this whiskey. We're not leaving this fire pit until this is empty. <laughs> now we're joking. Don't. Don't drink and drive, people. Don't, don't be an idiot with alcohol. But. Yeah, I, I learned that lesson from someone else. From multiple other people, actually. Alright, well, God bless. Stay safe. And, uh, See you next episode. See you next episode. Thank you.